Hi, I'm Lisa Steele from Fresh Eggs Daily, and today Annie and I are here to talk to you about feeding chickens. Um, it's one of the most common questions I get, especially this time of year. Um, Annie wants to go lay her eggs, so I think I'm going to let her go. I just grabbed her out of the box for a little bit to say hello. Um, but anyway, this is Annie, so bye-bye, Annie. Bye-bye. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I am Lisa Steele from Fresh Eggs Daily. I am so happy to have partnered with Small Pet Select for the last couple of years to help promote their products. Uh, they have great feed, scratch grains, grit, oyster shells, pretty much everything your chickens need to be happy and healthy. And um, you know, they have the same values and things that I do. I've, over the last 14 years, I uh, helped people raise chickens more naturally uh, for a happy, healthy flock. So today we're gonna talk about chicken feed. Um, I get a lot of questions first about adding new chickens to your flock, but then also what to feed them. So anytime you're adding new chickens, if they're not baby chicks, you really do need to do a 30 day quarantine period. Even if chickens look healthy and the place they come from looks really clean, um, there's just so many diseases and things that they could be carrying, uh, bacteria that your chickens aren't used to. So a 30 day quarantine period is very important. If you raise chicks in the house and then you bring them outside, um, you want to put them between behind fencing for at least a week or two and not until they're maybe eight or ten weeks old. Um, I like to get my chicks out early if it's warm enough during the day behind the fencing so the older hens can see them but I don't actually try to add them to the flock until they're you know almost full grown definitely ready to be outside you know 24 7 not under the heat lamp anymore. Um, free ranging them helps a lot it's kind of neutral territory so if you let your chickens out bring the new chicks out uh, pull it out you know, let them free range a little bit, see how that goes. Um, and then usually you can tell, you know, they kind of work out the differences behind the fencing. And then when you add them, things should go smoothly. They still do need to work out their pecking order. Um, but as long as no one's drawing blood or they're not ganging up on one chicken, you really have to let them work it out. The one thing I do not recommend is putting your chickens, the new ones in at night after dark. Chickens are smart. They knew who was there the night before. And if they wake up in the morning, especially in a small coop, enclosed area, um, there's gonna be a lot of aggression pecking and it could be a real disaster. So don't try to trick them, introduce them to each other, um, you know, and it should go fine. But the question is what to feed them because now you've got say 10 week old or 12 week old chickens in with laying hens. Um, or if you have a mother hen who hatched chicks in the coop, they might be integrated with the flock in a week or two because you know they're born in the coop, they're born as part of the flock, the mother hen protects them. Um, so I get all kinds of questions. You know, I put out chick feed, the older hens are eating it, I don't want the chicks to eat layer feed, what do I do? So really easy, the rule of thumb is anytime you have chickens of different ages, uh, feed everybody what the youngest chicks should be eating. So in the case of a mother hen with her chicks, you wanna put everybody on chick starter feed. Um, I use unmedicated, the medicated not, is not gonna hurt the laying hens, but I just don't use it as a rule. So unmedicated chick starter feed for everybody. Um, it's not gonna hurt the laying hens to have starter feed. It has lower calcium levels. Um, so I just want to go ahead and grab some oyster shells. It has lower calcium levels, so you are going to need to put out crushed oyster shell like this from Small Pet Select. Um, I put it in little dispensers in my coop, and then the laying hens can eat what they need. They absolutely will eat a lot more if they're on the starter feed because it doesn't have the added calcium that the layer feed has. Um, but that's fine. You know, they'll eat as much calcium as they need. They'll go on laying eggs with nice strong shells. Le starter feed is not going to hurt your laying hens. Feeding your chicks a layer feed can hurt them. It can give them kidney stones later in life. Too much calcium is really bad for them if they're not laying eggs because their body's gonna store it up and it's gonna be too much. So put everybody on the chick starter feed and then basically switch to the grower feed when the, hey, Miranda, when the youngest ones are, um, you know, about 18 or 20 weeks old, you can go to the layer feed for everybody. So that's easy rule of thumb. Put everybody on what the youngest chicks need. Oh my goodness, Miranda is, she's such a diva. Hang on one second. Come here, you. Oh. So apparently Miranda wants to say hello. Um, so Miranda says, when you have baby chicks, 
She'll be perfectly fine eating the starter feed. There's no way to keep the chicks out of the layer feed and the layers out of the starter feed. So just feed everybody the starter feed or grower. Um, you do want to switch to a lower protein grower if you can. Um, you know, 16 or 18% or uh, grower feed with the added oyster shell on the side. Uh, Small Pet Select has a really great oyster shell. My chickens prefer eggshells, but I do like to keep the oyster shell in the dispenser in the coop just to make sure that the laying hens have as much as they need. So easy tip on how to feed flocks of different ages. Um, you should never mix the oyster shell into the feed, especially if you have roosters because um, they don't need the extra calcium. You wanna always feed it free choice so everybody can eat as much or as little as they need. Like most things in life, animals know exactly what they need. So all we need to do is provide it for them. So again, Lisa Steele from Fresh Eggs Daily. Uh, if you want more information, check out my blog, fresheggsdaily.com. Follow me on social at Fresh Eggs Daily. Um, and until then, have a happy, healthy flock.